is the twin flame journey more challenging for divine feminines? This assumption is frequently encountered across the online realm, that those embodying the divine feminine on the twin flame journey, shoulder the majority of the journey's demands. So, is this notion unfounded or does it hold truth? What is the rationale behind the apparent greater effort required from the divine feminine compared to the divine masculine? To grasp the dynamics at play here, comprehension of twin flame polarities and their mechanics is essential. What do the divine feminine and divine masculine energies represent? Envision the twin flame connection akin to the yin and yang emblem, elucidated in Jeff and Shalia's book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. The divine feminine embodies the yin aspect of the union, she emanates her beauty and constitutes the gentle, safeguarded inner core. In contrast, the divine masculine embodies the yang energy, the external shield of the union, safeguarding and valuing the radiant energy of the divine feminine. Ultimately, twin flames are two distinct entities intertwined as a singular consciousness. They are woven from the same material fashioned in unison. True separation is absent between them. The only division they encounter is an illusion apprehensions or the seemingly absent love. Hence, the spiritual awareness of the divine masculine equals that of the divine feminine. Why does my awareness of the twin flame journey appear greater? Frequently, it seems that only one of the twin flames undertakes the spiritual voyage, particularly during the initial phases of the journey. Consequently, it can give the impression that divine feminines are the ones comprehending the spiritual odyssey to a greater extent. Nonetheless, the reality is that your divine masculine counterpart is also engaged in their efforts to pave the way for a harmonious twin flame union. The segment they manage to address and mend, holds an equally divine and crucial role in establishing the foundation of your union. Both partners are consistently investing 100% effort into their respective paths. The twin flame connection functions based on this equation of true divine unity, stemming from their intrinsic oneness. The supreme power of the divine feminine. As the architect of your spiritual journey, you, the divine feminine, wield an incredible power within your grasp and your heart the power of self-healing and self-love although it might not appear monumental the inner spiritual work stands at the heart of the twin flame relationship here's the mechanism underlying the twin flame dynamic your twin flame occupies a foremost position they act as a mirror reflecting all that deviates from alignment with your divine self. When they exhibit disregard or mistreatment, it signifies an analogous aspect within you where self-respect is lacking. Esteem and dignity. This is an aspect currently undergoing healing among all divine feminines across the globe. Feminine energy has historically been suppressed or subjected to inequity in numerous cultures and periods. Consequently, it's logical that recognizing one's value and upholding self-respect emerge as significant triggers during this journey. Esteeming and honoring oneself implies recognizing the value of your love and refraining from depleting your energy by giving excessively. This principle extends to your sexual energy as well. The divine feminine sexual energy holds profound sanctity. However, in the contemporary world, safeguarding it proves challenging amid persistent demands for its dispersion. Shalia recounts her journey of healing and the establishment of healthy boundaries in this sphere, which, in turn, drew her divine masculine counterpart closer, fostering a sense of security and sharing. Due to the enduring scars of cultural and historical experiences, it can prove challenging and delicate for divine feminines to open up. Nevertheless, genuine resilience resides within vulnerability. When you exhibit honesty and openness regarding your emotions in each moment, especially those that cause pain, you inherently embrace your entirety and acknowledge the unfolding of circumstances.
When a divine feminine feels secure in unveiling her vulnerability and expressing herself, she navigates life with an air of elegance, radiating love boundlessly while retaining her energy. This attribute holds a strong appeal for the divine masculine, prioritizing self-care. Often, expectations place the responsibility on the divine feminine to be a perpetual giver of love and care. Despite the nurturing essence of feminine energy, all the care she bestows originates from self-love. The love emanating from a divine feminine is only truly whole and enriching when she dedicates her love to her existence. As she begins unconditionally cherishing her intrinsic value in beauty, her affection for others flows naturally, effortlessly. Embracing her own needs in every facet of life enables her to effortlessly express love through her genuine being. The adage holds, one must first love oneself before loving another. Attempting to offer love to others while neglecting personal needs is an incomplete endeavor, articulating her authenticity. When the divine feminine stands firmly in her truth and power, she loves without reservation. Her power radiates not through sternness or obstinacy, but through her genuine self. Often, divine feminines are advised to fortify themselves to erect protective barriers. Yet, a well-constructed boundary is about self-respect, not constructing barriers against others. Confidence and standing in one's truth and power equates to alignment with the divine essence. In conclusion, the divine feminine possesses a remarkably uncomplicated formula for achieving success. Centered around self-focus, inner radiance, and illuminating the world with her brilliance, these elements collectively contribute to a wholesome existence and the attraction of a harmonious union with our ideal partner a mutually beneficial accomplishment. The more we pay homage to our feminine energy, the more our authentic divine self is unveiled. Addressing the wounds associated with our femininity and nurturing our divine essence these actions exert a magnetic pull on our twin flame. The alignment of the divine masculine with the genuine love you nurture within yourself is pivotal. Consequently, self-love stands as your ultimate magnet in the journey toward twin flame unity.